Hello and welcome back to Reach Apology Masters. In this video is sure the ultimate high poly low poly solution how to get the low poly and high poly very quickly. I'd like to thank Autodesk for sponsoring this series of videos helping me produce more great content for you guys. So let's get started. I'm just going to model some basic things, some basic booleans, nothing exact, not using reference image. Let's start with this. Let's center it. All right. So whenever you're modeling some sort of weapon, there's usually little ridges or grooves. For example, I would duplicate this, just apply it a poly right away. All right, then I would just scale the bottom here. Just rotate this. You can right click here, 22.5. And rotate this here and rotate like so. All right, so I'm just gonna position it, let's say right here. And let's create several copies here. All right, then I'm going to start using Pro Boolean. Just gonna subtract it, just gonna use move. One, two, three, all right. So one thing people have always struggled with is how do I create a low poly from this? Because you know, you've got the kind of booleans that you want, but then when you try and smooth this out, you get this, we're gonna cover that. But before we do that, let's add some more detail. So let me also just create, say a cylinder. I'll position that right here. So I'm just kind of giving you various examples of what you can run into as you're modeling here. So what I'm gonna do is just say, insert two segments through here. I'll create kind of that effect. All right, so as you're modeling here, you wanna kind of think about things in terms of high poly. So. We're not going to be solidifying this afterwards, so kind of think about making sure that we have enough segments here. So instead of booleaning this, we want to have something more like this. All right, let's switch to union and add this. All right, now we've got this. Under advanced options, make sure we have no edge removal on. All right, so I'm just kind of booleaning various shapes to show you what kind of situation you can run into here. So for example, before I boolean this, I'll just do something like 48 here, all right. All right, so there we go. So whenever people have made high poly, low poly assets, there was a situation where, okay, I've got my, let's say low poly ready, but the whole thing about high poly, low poly is that you want the high poly to have lots of smoothness here, which will bake into the more angular low poly. But then the problem I've always run into is that when they try and let's say turbo smooth this, you get this happening here. And one thing that can work sometimes is that if you apply a chamfer modifier, and then we're gonna increase the segments. And this can work sometimes, but in many situations you get kind of a bad results happening here. So there do need to be some further work on this. You can see it actually works in many situations, but for example, right here, and if you want it to be smoother, so if you wanna increase the amount, it'll definitely break. But definitely chamfer can work in some situations here. But it would need a little bit of fixing up done as well maybe moving these vertices apart. So this is one solution. And in order to get rid of this strange shading here, you simply apply a weight of normals modifier. As you can see, it figures up that kind of sh shading here. All right, this is one solution using chamfer. So I'm gonna duplicate this off to the side, but we can also simply use retopology. So I'm just gonna use smooth here, auto smooth retopology and then compute this. And I can of course use creases on this, but you can see, even if I just slap a turbo smooth on top, it already gives me these really nice results for baking into my low poly mesh. Now, in order to sharpen this up a little bit here, what I can do is maybe increase this to, let's say, 
12,000. So I consider this to be a really good solution here because now we can bake this into our low poly and so we can pretty much bake all the smoothness into our low poly object. That is the high poly taken care of. For the low poly, all we need to do is to apply a Pro Optimizer modifier. Click on Calculate. Then simply decrease the vertex percentage or the vertex count until you get a nice low poly. So for example, this could be our low poly. We can apply smooth on top. And here we go, guys. That is our very quick low poly and high poly ready to go. All right, so sometimes when you're modeling here, there are parts that you want to be part of the high poly, but not the low poly. So in this situation, it's a good idea to kind of, before you create those parts, for example, this spline part, which I created using splines, and I just connected this, did the fillets. So I want this to create some panel lines, but I don't want this to be part of the low poly. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna pull in what I want part to be low poly. So for example, I'm turbo smooth this with Sweden groups. So I'm just going to make sure this is all the same as within group because when you chamfer, you get some of those different ones. All right. So I'm going to get this. All right. I'm going to Boolean. I'm going to subtract this. I'm going to subtract this. All right. So now I'm going to copy this object because then I'm going to do this. I'm going to subtract that and I'm going to press Control V to copy this. And then for this one, I'm going to select the newest operation, change it to intersection and then change operation. I'll give this a different object color just so we can differentiate what I'm trying to explain here. So for example, I'll make this dark gray. I'll make this kind of this darkish blue color. Actually, that's too similar to make this a lighter color. All right, so in this situation, I don't want this, this whole thing to be part of the low poly, unless of course the low poly will have this, you know, open up somehow, rotate open. In this situation, this low poly is just here for some nice panel lines here. We can see right now, if I try and bake this, it's not gonna bake these nice edges here, it's just gonna bake the color because as you can see, there is nothing smooth happening here to bake into the normal map. So that's where the topology comes in handy. So now I'm just going to Reads apology. All right, so I've actually topologized both these objects. And you can see when I apply a turbo smooth, just two iterations. Now this will bake into the low poly nicely and give those nice normal map results here. So before I create this extra object just for the panel line here and different color, I of course removed this for the low poly. So then we can just once again apply a Pro Optimizer on this. 
recalculate and decrease this. Let's try entering in 500, that may be too low. So some of these looking a little bit too lopsided here. Let's carefully increase this. There we go. So I have a quick way to create both the high and low poly. Thank you for watching and take care.